What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about the supposed or the rumored Sonic Frontiers release date. It has supposedly been leaked. Now, again, all, I mean, there's a lot of adjectives we're using here, right? Take these things with a grain of salt. It's possible that it happens. It's possible uh, that it doesn't happen. But this was located on the Steam database, and I believe this was changed from September 1st. That was the original date written on it, September 1st, 2022, to now November 8th. 2022 now again it could be moved we've seen things like this for uh, even like gotham knights i think gotham knights had uh play tests uh and it was located on the steam database that they were happening we've seen other dates uh shift okay that were it's the same actual same kind of picture where it'll be a number and then you'll see like the red line through it and it'll be a new one we've actually seen this uh over the last couple months so you know flip a coin you know if you want to debate 50 50 if you want to believe it if you don't i have some things to say of course if this is going to be the case if it does come out November 8th and my uh, my response or my opinion would be I'm not a huge fan of that uh, mainly because well the early uh, November period is starting to get full now well I guess I should make it clear like no matter when Sonic Frontiers is going to come out it's going to be up against something right at this point September's full relatively uh, October is the full month like the real one November is pretty darn packed even early December then after that you're looking at you know you can't release things in the second half of the month so then you would go to January. So I just want to kind of make clear, like, you know, I'm going to be talking about God of War, right? Competition there. But at the same time, it's like, well, Alex, there's no time when it could have come out and not had to deal with something. That's, I mean, I agree with that, right? I just want to kind of make that clear. I was hoping that this would be a September game because as, you know, I'm, as I'm describing the months, September is the uh, the least busy, I would say, in my opinion, for the games I play. October is nuts. I think Sonic probably falls uh, down the, the totem pole in October. Well, if it's November 8th, it's coming out right before God of War Ragnarok, and uh, I'm not necessarily saying God of War Ragnarok and Sonic compete. Uh, I know on Reddit, they're like making jokes about it, right, where it's like Kratos versus Sonic, like who would win? That's very funny, but I, you know, I, there is a sense or a part of me, and I've said this before, but I don't know. I don't think Sonic Frontiers stops anybody from buying God of War. And at the same time, I'm not so certain about the other side of things, right? I think, you know, if you're going to buy God of War, Sonic is not going to stop you. If you're going to buy Sonic, does God of War stop you? And I think that is a bit more tough. And I would honestly say that for a lot of other games. Uh, well, I guess there's certain kinds of games. God of War, the Call of Duties in the world obviously take up uh, a lot of people's, you know, like mental space. You have like a Hogwarts Legacy, right? There, Like there are huge blockbuster games that when you see those are like the big dogs and it's almost like the other games are, are almost afraid of them right they're kind of scared to release around the same time god of war i do believe and it's not a console war thing i would say this actually the same thing if, if starfield came out when it was going to november 11th it's their huge games and, and those are the kind of games the starfields the god of wars that i do think other games are a little bit concerned about i think forespoken was concerned that god of war ragnarok was coming out and they were like a month apart so you know again this it, it's a what if because we don't know sonic could come out a week after that they could come out the end of november it could come out in december it come out in september i mean we don't have a date yet right and i think we should get one very very soon but november 8th would be a bit troubling you got god of war like what a day later you have i believe it's uh november 8th is the same day as skull and bones uh, again the skull and bones hurt sonic the sonic hurt skull and bones maybe to some most likely not but it's it is another game it is another game that comes out the rumored need for speed uh release date is around that time november 4th is the rumor for that so it's going to be a, a, a an incredible period for gaming but some games are going to be pushed aside and final thing to kind of throw in there I have not been very high on Sonic Frontiers, right? I've, I've made a couple videos talking about the gameplay that we saw in the IGN first feature. Um, the game is not looking phenomenal, okay, to put it lightly. Um, it doesn't look atrocious. It does, maybe it looks bad to some, maybe it looks like okay, maybe okay is not all that great, right? Your, your, the word definition is not all that good. I mean, it obviously it ranges. I, I, I don't think Sonic Frontiers is looking all that great, and I think burying it, which again, it's probably going to happen no matter what, so maybe it's a uh, you know, maybe I don't even have to make the point, but it may get buried no matter what, and that's scary because this is kind of like the return for Sonic, or it's supposed to be, and already the game doesn't have as much momentum, I think, behind it as, as you want. 
they're literally also being asked, like, well, would you delay it? Like, or is fan feedback so bad you would delay it? And they're like, no, fans will get it. We're not going to delay it. Those aren't exactly questions you want to field right now. You know, like, I don't really want any game ever having to answer those questions. So it's not looking great. And then it, it may not release at a good time either. So let me know what you guys think. You're still going to get it no matter what. All your thoughts, put it in the comments below. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on so you know when all these videos go up. If you want to follow or support me anywhere else, all my social media, including our Patreon and YouTube memberships, are in the description below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.